if four people are in survive with friends and your killer against them and they all bring engineers toolbox brand new part and wire spool move on move on to the next game you won't win that one this is going to be killer's perspective on what's overpowered that survivors have currently because i believe the game is very survivor sided at high ranks let's talk about it not flashlights flashlights are not overpowered believe it or not uh, what is, is an Engineer's Toolbox with a brand new part. Engineer's Toolbox uh, increases your repair speed by 35%. Starts with 80 charges. Um, takes 80 seconds to do a generator. With 35% um, increased repair speed, you do it in 59 seconds, I believe. 54 seconds. No, 52 seconds. 52 seconds it takes to do a generator with the Engineer's Toolbox. Stack that with a brand new part, the first generator that a survivor does will actually be done in 39 seconds, as the brand new part will do 25% of the generator. Um, that's pretty good. 39 seconds to do a generator, and then 52 for each generator following that. Tack this on with some extra charges, and bam. That's crazy. <laughs> um... Very strong, very strong add-on uh, set up here. If four people are in Survive with Friends and your killer against them and they all bring Engineer's Toolbox brand new part and wire spool, move on. Move on to the next game. You won't win that one. There's no way. Uh, best case scenario is you find one of them uh, and get them into a chase and they haven't used their brand new part yet. You get them in a chase really early. It takes you... 30 seconds to catch them and down them, an extra maybe 10 seconds to pick them up and put them on a hook. You're looking at 40 seconds. Three generators have been done by their teammates. They're 60% of the way done. You've hooked one person once. You've done, what, 4% of, uh, the, of your objective? Totally survivor sided at high ranks. Um, I think... I'm not actually sure how you can get around this, and I'm not going to pretend to prescribe something for it. Um, but these certainly are overpowered, this combination right here, this item and add-on combination. Uh, let's move on to perks. This is going to be quick. I only think one of them is overpowered, Decisive Strike, and I actually do have a prescription for this. Um, but let's talk about Decisive Strike first. I think that Decisive Strike is awful for killers, for the same reason that the spirit is awful for survivors. So the common complaint against the spirit is that there's no interaction. She doesn't give room for the survivors to interact or respond or outplay or make good moves or anything like that. Or flex, you know, you can't do anything like that on the spirit. Not really. Some people can if they're very, very good, but uh, not really. There's very little interaction. She doesn't give enough data out. You can't do anything with her. Decisive Strike is the same. Decisive Strike says your teammate comes to unhook you. The killer comes back. Let's say it's Bubba, just for sake. They don't have borrowed time. You chainsaw both of them into the ground, okay? You pick up the person who unhooked, put them on a hook. You have to leave the other person there. <laughs> you have to leave the person on the ground with Decisive Strike. That's not counterplay. Slugging someone purposefully and not doing your objective is not counterplay that is non-interaction what really gets me though is when you know someone has decisive strike say they're the obsession you don't have an obsession perk right you're pretty sure someone has a decisive strike or one person's the obsession and you don't know if everyone has decisive strike okay so here's the scenario they get unhooked you down the person who unhooked them their saver right? Not tunneling, certainly not camping. You down the other person, put them on a hook. The person who was on the hook and got unhooked now has 60 seconds to run and work on a generator. And if they have a toolbox, they get a full generator done and you can't do anything about it. That is a problem. That's a big, big, big problem. You can run up to them and pull them off. You get DS'd and then they chase you, right? Waste more time. You don't pull them off, they finish a generator doing their objective. You hit them and slug them, they sit there and a teammate can come and heal, and then you have to camp. 
It, there's no interaction. There's no counterplay. Decisive strike, and here's what my prescription is, needs to be changed so that if you start working on a generator, it deactivates. It doesn't turn off, like if you miss the skill check, but it deactivates. Uh, I think that that in particular is just not okay. It's not okay. Um, I, I really like when I'm playing Survivor, the tech of somebody unhooking me and me jumping in a locker and forcing them to pull me out of it and then getting, you know, DSing them. I think that's interesting and I think it's a good way to play the game. Um, but the fact that a really good Survivor can abuse this to finish the objective and leave and the killer can't do anything about it is not okay. So I think that if a Survivor has Decisive Strike, on the active 60 second timer and they touch a generator it should be deactivated pretty sure decisive strike is the only one i would say is overpowered uh iron will is really strong i wouldn't say it's broken very good perk not overpowered but uh let's try and construct a good build here oh what do you know there it is dead hard very good build very good perk i would say it's second best exhaustion perk behind balance landing uh or maybe these two are on the same level I would actually run both. Balance Landing gives you a passive of reducing your fall stagger duration. Totally worth it. Uh, and you can abuse this for certain loops given the correct map. If you want to get the most out of your exhaustion though, you want to run Dead Hard as well. Dead Hard can extend chases a lot. At, at minimum it extends chases 3 seconds for them missing an attack and then immediately smacking you again. Uh, at best it can extend chases 10 15 20 seconds getting to a pallet running the loop properly yeah it's dead hard's amazing and uh, i think so none of these three just to clarify none of these three i don't think are overpowered uh, i think they're just solid perks and this would be an amazing build if you're playing survivor and you really wanted to just destroy the game quickly you'll win you will likely win with this build even against the spirit there's just not much a killer can do, especially if you have a party of four, or even a party of three, or two, and you're running this, it's it's going to be rough. It's going to be rough. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you think that my prescription for Decisive Strike is accurate? Do you think it's too overpowered even without that slight nerf of if they touch a generator, uh, then it deactivates? Do you think it's fine how it is? Let me know down in the comments. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're brand new. I stream on Twitches. Uh, <laughs> hit that subscribe button if you're new. I stream on Twitch Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 8 in the morning till around 11 uh, in the morning uh, Pacific Standard Time. So come check us out. And yeah, I'm, I'm very curious if you think that my prescription for Decisive Strike is appropriate.